tonight? Then call the 976 party line. Plenty of people can't wait to talk to you. But only if you're young and single. And attractive. And in a high income tax bracket. Don't be alone. Come on. Hurry. Hey, Pop. Do you work here? Unfortunately, I'm the manager. We've got a problem. So soon? Usually it's a month or so before the first marital crisis. Uh, no, silly. We can't get into our room. Oh, uh, allow me. <sighs> Sometimes these doors stick. It's the... No humidity. It just expands and contracts. Ah! There we go. Uh, you may enter now. I mean... In a few years, they'll be fighting to keep their clothes on. <laughs> Miss Frick, yeah. it's not wise to toot your own horn. Oh, Reggie, I'm in the mood to have some fun. What do you say we go out and hit the town? Oh, Reggie, oh, Reggie, big boy, you want to have some fun, huh? Miss Frick. Yeah. It's pointless for people our age to indulge in revelry. Oh. This, this hotel is not getting any younger. And neither are we. Oh, Betty, don't be a sour fools. Oh. oh, Mr. Tarkington, we're just on our way to the dining room. You care to join us? No, no, children, I wouldn't want to intrude on your merriment. Mr. Tarkington, are you okay? I'm just fine, Sally, just fine. Lobby, Freddy. Cotton candy. Yeah, I feel like a kid again. I just came back from Cody Island. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Want a bite? Yeah. yeah. Going down. <laughs> Lobby level. Hey, Freddy. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Freddy, why don't you spend the rest of your shift helping out in the restaurant? Really? So, what time do you want to meet? Are you kidding? Why should I be offended if it happens on the first date? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta run. Dennis, was that a personal call? Mr. Tarkington, you won't believe this hot date I have tomorrow. A trapeze artist. I met her when I called this 976 number and she claimed... Dennis, your prurient adventures hold no interest for a man my age. I'd like a room. Do you have a reservation? I did. It was called Manhattan. <laughs> oh, honey, look. What a bargain. And yesterday, I couldn't tell the difference between butter and margarine. That's the first sign of senility in a hotel manager. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. I had no idea you were serious. Come on, Mr. Tarkington, quit talking about this aging stuff. Now, how could you possibly understand my problems, Charles? You're young, handsome, successful, women literally crawling at your feet. I can't do cleanse. I found it. Oh, Mr. Nutt? The lady at table four sent you this drink. Well, I think the least I can do is uh, thank her. Yes, it's the very, very least you can do. Excuse me. Believe it or not, Sally, at one time I was the apple in every girl's eye. Now look at me. I'm not even a prune Danish. Oh, come on, Mr. Tarkington. You're a very attractive older man. In fact, I would fix you up with my Aunt Sadie right now, if she were living. <laughs> Mr. Tarkington, that woman sent you the drink, not me. No chesty. No, check it out. She wants you to stop by her table. Oh, what an ego booster. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> oh.
I'm Reginald J. Tarkington, the manager here. How may I serve you? Gwen Donnelly. I hope you weren't offended by my sending you a drink. Oh, no. Uh, the last thing a guest sent me was a death threat. So this was decidedly an improvement. <laughs> You wanted to speak with me? Yes. I wanted to say that I loved your costume. Costume? Yes. In this day and age, it's hard to believe anybody actually works in that ghetto. So old-fashioned. Old-fashioned. I see. It makes you look like a gentleman. The world could use a few more gentlemen. Uh, how long is your stay with us? Oh, I just arrived, and I'm only here for one night. Oh. oh excuse me. Oh. I must be going. Of course. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah. oh. Mrs. Frick. Yeah. I sense that might be you. You were flirting openly with another woman. Mm -hmm. Why must you seek affection elsewhere? I'm the only one who knows how to touch you. Freddy! Mr. Tarkington? Never ever write on a blackboard without first clipping your nails. <laughs> Mr. Tarkington, I need you for a matter of security. Sorry, sir. <clears throat> Mr. Tarkington, this is Max Greco. He's a courier working for the Juckenhaus Corporation. How do you do, sir? How do you do? <laughs> Listen, I have $200,000 worth of negotiable bearer bonds on me, okay? It's okay. Now, what precautions do you provide for valuables kept in the room? Well, we have a suite with a safe in it, if that's what you mean. Come on, let's go at you myself. Dennis, be seated to this gentleman. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, this safe has a 15-digit combination. It also has a lock on the escutcheon plate. Old and dependable. Much like myself. Now, I will keep this key around my neck at all times. If you need to get into the safe at any hour, just call the desk and they'll be able to reach me. My, you're jumpy. Did you just turn 30 or something? Hey, I can't help it, okay? Okay. Those bonds shouldn't still be in my possession. My flight arrived late. Now I've got to deposit them in the morning. Yes, but they'll be perfectly safe in our safe. Well, I hope so. Because the last three couriers before me all got robbed by the same crook. Hans Grublik. The guy's an international thief. And before that, he made his living as an actor. Then he's always led a life of crime. <laughs> Good credit, though. Well, just so you know, I'm not stepping foot outside this room tonight. Oh, then there's an excellent chance you'll have a good stay here. Good night. Not to worry. <laughs> not to worry. Hello again. Is something wrong? My air conditioning's up too high. Oh, allow me. These thermostats can be so fickle. <laughs> Please. Oh. Oh, boy, it is a bit nippy in here, isn't it? <laughs> Voila. Some things only respond to just the right touch. Like women? I better be going to the front desk. Oh, must you run off? I mean, you're not imposing. I'm traveling all by myself. Young lady, what is this strange fixation you seem to have on me? You're so unlike all the other men I meet. You're a gentleman. I'd love to hear your stories about being a hotel manager. So many exciting things must happen to you. Oh, indeed they do. For instance, right now, I'm embroiled in some very covert security duties. Wow, where does that keep it? 
Whoa, I'll never tell. <laughs> you know, I dreaded dining alone tonight. Please, say you'll join me. We can dine in my room to ensure us of privacy. Privacy's good. Well, shall we say seven-ish? Let's say eight-ish, so I won't be late-ish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ladies, ladies, you're acting ridiculous. Miss Fitch, why are you spying on me? Why are you dallying with some girl half your age? Because it's more fun than dallying with some girl my own age. Poppycock. Not that it matters to me, of course, but I can dally with the best of them. Look, yeah. I'm a gentleman approaching his twilight years. The platonic company of a younger woman helps to revitalize my self-esteem. If you really care about me, you'll say you understand. No, I don't. I'm sorry, Richie. Look. There's me in two months. Richie. No need to keep the charade up in here. This facade is damned uncomfortable. Status report. Made contact with the manager almost immediately. He seems like a very easy man. Now, the cab's liver should be served with shallots and vinegar. The duck must be accompanied by a delicate Dijonais mustard sauce mm. tempered with dill. Oh, and more importantly, Dennis, yes, sir. inform the chef that I will be eating this meal, so I expect him to wash his hands. Yes, is there anything else, sir? Oh, I'm glad you reminded me. Fetch me a bottle of champagne. Any particular brand? Mm, any kind, as long as it has this label on it. Oh, an excellent choice, sir. I was saving it for a special occasion. Oh, and uh, Greco in the security suite is the only interruption I'll permit, sir. Mr. Tarkington? Yes. I hope I'm not overstepping myself, sir, but it's heartening to see you treating yourself so well. It makes me very happy. Thank you. Dennis, right now, I feel like a new man. Adjourn. Something strange is going on with that girl upstairs. I saw her smooching an old geezer. Oh, so now your jealousy is causing you to concoct these bizarre lies. You are indeed pathetic, Miss Frick. Darling, I am concerned for you. Why? Because I might have a pleasant evening. Stand aside. Yeah. Going to my room to freshen up. Obviously, the key that old fool showed you is of significance. Seduce him. And take it off his person quickly. Hans, would you mind treating me with a little more sensitivity? I'm sorry. Please seduce him. Is that better? Sir, I have a very romantic evening. By the way, Mr. Tarkington, are you aware that tonight you look ten years younger? You're a saint, Dennis. It's open. Come in. Yoo-hoo! It's Reginald! I'll just be a moment. Take your time! <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Good night, sweet frick. Did you spill something on them? Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh. What are you doing up here? You run out of room or something? <laughs> I think you'll enjoy this. It's uh, young, but presumptuous. Mm. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. mm. 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 Wonderful, isn't it? Mm, lovely. Uh, now, how about some dinner? I lost my appetite a long time ago. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, don't you want to have a little liver? We'll have a little duck, a little banter. You know, this banter is not one of my specialties. Just relax. Let this happen. What happened? Relax. Relax. Take me. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I hate to be an old fuddy-duddy, but this is not the way I had the evening envisioned. Oh. You're a very nice person and a very special one, and I'm very flattered by your intentions. But if I'm to live up to your appraisal as a gentleman, I'm afraid I'll have to say goodnight right now. Oh, don't go. I'm sorry. Whoa. What's the meaning of this? Keep quiet. So, Hans, not everyone sinks as low as you. This man refused to take advantage of me. He respects me. He likes me as a person. Hans! What a disguise. What kind of fool am I to have honestly believed that a young woman could legitimately be interested in me? No, you're wrong. I meant every word I said about you being a gentleman. Every word. I'm sorry. Enough drivel. You are now worthless to me. Get in there. Wait! Shut up! Now, you will take me to where the bonds are being kept. What bonds? Oh, those bonds. <laughs> Who is it? It's Reginald J. Tarkington, your friendly manager. Uh, I have something to show you. What? Gun pointed at my back. Who are you? Hans Grublik. Oh, this is great. This is great. I'm out of a job, okay? Get in the closet. Thank you. Hurry. Why don't you just give me the classifieds or something? I'm looking for a job. Now you, open the safe, quickly. Forget it. What? I said no. This has probably been the worst day of my life and I'm fed up with it all. I'll kill you. Go ahead, see if I care. It'll be the perfect capper to a perfectly rotten day. Let me tell you something. Recently, I've been having this midlife crisis. You know, been sort of edgy, being nasty to people. But now that I see you, I realize I don't have any problems at all. Shut up! You're nothing but a pathetic fop. Hiding behind the knickers of women that have more guts than you. Silence! Silence! No. Do your parents know what you're doing for a living? I mean, it's really pathetic. Playing dress-up games, skulking around like an idiot. I mean, you really are a bore. Why don't you get yourself a real job? No, go back to acting. Prepare to die, you old fool. Leave my man alone! Oh, 
did it. I was actually quite brave, wasn't I? Oh, Archie. Oh, that was so, how you say, macho. Oh, I suppose that was. Oh, darling. <laughs> Never have doubts about yourself again. Oh, that's what they call a real man. A jerk. Man, a jerk. Oh, okay. No, 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 please. No, 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 please. No, no, no. Thank you, Reginald, for everything. I'll never forget you. Gotta go. Thank you. Well, Mr. Tarkington, I would say you've been through quite an adventure. I think you acted heroically. Oh, all in a day's work, Sally. Well, Sally, you still up for catching that late movie? Sure, I could use a little escapism. Great. Mr. Tarkington, would you care to join us? Actually, I would. But where will I find a lovely and vivacious woman to accompany me? <laughs> Miss Frick. Yeah. I know this is short notice, uh, but what do you say we uh, hit the town? Oh, Reggie, you made me the happiest girl in the whole wide world. Keep your bloomers on. We're going Dutch. in time to the Far East, where he finds himself in a compromising position. Ah, so, it's Quantum Leap next. And Saturday night, you'll see all new episodes of 227, Amen, The Golden Girls, and Empty Nest. Saturday, 